Hello everybody, this is Ben with Backpacks and Brews coming to you again with another beer review. And this one is one I am quite excited about. This is... Let's see if you can see it. The Crusher. The Crusher comes to me by way of The Alchemist um, in Vermont. Uh, the same brewery that produces Hetty Topper one that I had done earlier, Focal Banger, which is their IPA. This um, is a very limited release in cans. The Crusher um, is a American double IPA, very simple. They put it in an aluminum can and they put a sticker on it. Probably not legal to be distributed or produced that way. However, the way that they sold these at a tent sale, you can do whatever they want. <laughs> Um, people want to purchase this for sure. Um, the Crusher is an American double IPA, 9.6% ABV. So pretty high on the ABV. Heady Topper, I believe, is right around 8%. Um, so this is quite a bit more ABV than that. Um, and I've heard from a lot of people that this is their favorite double IPA. This is their favorite beer that the Alchemist comes out with. Crusher uh, is, is excellent. Uh, personally, it's going to do have to do a lot to top Focal Banger. Focal Banger was absolutely phenomenal. I'm really excited about this one. Let's go ahead, pop the top, get it into the glass, and see what we got going on here. Really cool um, packaging for me, simple. This is just a couple weeks old. Fresh from Vermont. Um, and it pours a beautiful, vibrant color. Let's see if we can get into some of the light. It is an orange, it's a like a bright tangerine color, and it is very cloudy. It looks a lot like Focal Banger. Focal Banger was a lot lighter. This one's a little bit more juicy looking, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, it's got a nice um, finger of head very creamy head definitely looks like it's a, a bottle condition can condition beer um, look at that um, just absolutely stunning in the glass um, and it's already I can tell it's gonna have some awesome lacing just beautiful beer in the glass it's holding its holding its own very well um, I am so excited I'm so excited to, to get this one to taste um, let's get a nose on it first Boom, huge, bright citrus. Um, tons of tropical notes. I'm getting like big time, like orange, big time pineapple, mango, um, and uh, some like bitter grapefruit notes as well. I mean, I don't want to stop smelling it. It is, it is coming on full force. Just some massive tropical notes that are just so good. Maybe a little bit of guava and, um, yeah, that mango, pineapple, um, almost like a melony, uh, bright melon, like a cantaloupe. Um, uh, and then there's also some like peach kind of uh, nose on there, uh, and and then some bright orange tangerine citrus uh, man it's it smells so good I, I can't stop I can't stop smelling it and as I swirl it I actually it's interesting a lot more of the dankness is coming out I'm actually getting a big whiff of like garlicky dankness after I swirl this It, it's, it is alive, it's fresh, it's green. You can tell um, these hops are, are so just like fresh from the vine type of smell to it, which is exactly what I got from the Focal Banger. I'm really pumped. Let's give this one a drink. Wow. My 
goodness. This beer packs a huge punch. So much hop forward juiciness right up front and all throughout. The beer is alive in my mouth, making my tongue just tingle with the carbonation and the smooth, creamy texture of the beer and the bitter, juicy hop components. There's a serious malt uh, backbone to it, but the hops are definitely the star. They're shining through, no doubt about it. I mean, the Crusher is a great name because um, this one just is crushing my mouth right now. Um, there is uh, there is bitterness, but it's not a nasty, lingering bitterness. It's very enjoyable. Um, one of the things that, if there's anything detracting from it, it's that you feel a little bit of that alcohol, feel a little bit of the warmth as you swallow, as it goes down. But you know what? It's 9.6%. You're going to feel alcohol. And for beers that are that high ABV and you don't feel alcohol, it is very rare. So, um, and sometimes very dangerous. Um, but you can already tell. Um, got some glare. Don't have the best camera in the world. But, I mean, look at that lacing. It's just, that's how sticky this is, if that makes sense. It's, it's, it's smooth, but it's sticky. Um, it's like a green, sticky hop juice. Um, I mean, this is, it is straight up hop juice. It actually reminds me a little bit of Hop Wallop. Um, from Victory, which was my favorite uh, IPA, double IPA that they produced, and one of my favorites of all time. Um, this reminds me a little bit of that, but it, it does, in my mind, go beyond. Um, and that just might just be because of how fresh it is and how um, how green it tastes. I mean, the carbonation is perfect. It finishes so well so clean but with that bitterness that draws you back and really you don't taste the alcohol in it you don't really feel much there's just a little bit of warm alcohol warming going on um, that you would expect but ultimately it's not it's not over the top at all in that this is such a well constructed beer I've got to give this an A plus I already know I'm gonna give it an A plus so no need to beat around the bush as close to 100 as it probably could get, 98, 99, definitely. Um, definitely top three double IPAs I've ever had in my life. Um, it's, it's that good. Um, for now, don't forget, backpacks and brews. Cheers.